Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... I'm talking about astronomical phenomena. Gravity waves are fascinating. Sprites are fascinating. But when you get gravity waves and sprites, that is super duper duper. Holy crap. What? Gravity waves and sprites in the sky. We have gravity waves and sprites in the sky. That's crazy. Let me say that again to make sure that I hear myself properly, clearly, and correctly. Hey look, gravity waves, red sprites, and green gravity waves. I know, when you think of Sprite, you think of lemony lime soda pop, but that's how deep the marketing goes. So I kicked on over to the spaceweather.com to see what was up in today's space weather. And it says, quiet weekend, except for the red sprites and the green gravity waves. You might be saying, hey, what are sprites? Or hey, what are green gravity waves? And that would be a great question, which I guess we've covered before a little. Not the gravity waves, which I guess we're going to learn about now. As northern summer comes to a close, electrical storms are rumbling across the USA. After nightfall, red sprites can be seen dancing across the cloud tops. On August 20th, Tom A. Warner photographed these specimens above New Underwood, South Dakota. Good job, Tom. Crazy. Crazy for feeling blue. Ooh. On the night of August 20th, intense storms developed in north central South Dakota. Skies cleared out to the west and offered a chance to capture some sprites from the northern activity. He not only saw sprites, but also green glowing gravity waves. The waves are literally the ripple effect of a powerful thunderstorm on the mesosphere some 80 kilometers above Earth's surface. From space, these waves look like a giant atmospheric bullseye, and from the ground, they appear to be green ripples in the sky as shown in Warner's images. Bullseye, good terminology. Maybe, maybe Cupid is firing his arrow at Earth so that everybody falls in love with being alive. Left to themselves, gravity waves would be invisible to the human eye. We see them, however, because they are colored green by an aurora-like phenomenon called air glow. Air glow is caused by an assortment of chemical reactions in the upper atmosphere driven mainly by solar ultraviolet radiation. First, I heard of air glow. Gravity waves rippling away from the central axis of a thunderstorm cause temperature and density perturbations in the upper atmosphere. Speaking simplistically, for you simpletons, I shall simplify. Those perturbations alter the chemical reaction rates of air glow, leading to more bright or less bright bands, depending on whether the rates are boosted or diminished, respectively. See, it's simple, plebes. So, uh, you know, nothing to see here. Inhabiting the upper reaches of Earth's atmosphere alongside meteors knocked loose in clouds and some auras. Alongside meteors knocked loose in clouds and some auras, sprites and mesospheric gravity waves are true space weather phenomena. Now's a good time to see them. Well, I'd say that's super creepy, but I don't want to, you know, be Captain Super Creepy. What? Man. Mars Comet Passes Star Cluster. Why is it Mars' comet? You cannot possess a comet. Comet Sighting Spring. C-2013A1 is hurtling towards Mars for a near miss on October 19th, 2014. En route, a different near miss occurred. On August 28th, the Mars comet passed almost directly in front of a globular star cluster. What? It nearly missed a star cluster? That's weird. I took the picture shortly after minimum separation between the two, says astrophotographer Damien Peach of Celse, UK. Damien's good. Less than two months from now, the comet will reach Mars. Although the comet's nucleus will not strike the planet, gas and dust spewing out of the comet's core will likely interact with the Martian atmosphere. There could be a meteor shower, auras, and other effects, like gravity waves, that no one can predict. Oh, interesting. Never heard that term before used with Comet Sighting Spring. 
NASA's fleet of Mars spacecraft and rovers will record whatever happens. Asterisk, asterisk. Well, <laughs> well, what? Amateur astronomers, yeah, it's always into amateur astronomer hands. Amateur astronomers can monitor the comet's approach to Mars in months ahead. Right now, Siding Spring is gliding through the southern constellation Toucan Asama, glowing about as brightly as an 11th magnitude star. Mid-sized telescopes, such as the Comet Hunter, equipped with CCD cameras, should have no trouble picking it up. What are you guys, selling those? All right, so I'm going to keep this one short. Hey, baby. Whoever took your photos, lucky man. Gravity waves? What are gravity waves? Gravity wave. A hypothetical, well, they're not hypothetical if they were just on space weather. A hypothetical wave carrying gravitational energy postulated by Einstein to be emitted when a massive body is accelerated. Gravity wave. Noun. Physics. Plural noun. Gravity waves. A hypothetical wave carrying gravitational energy postulated by Einstein to be emitted when a massive body is accelerated. Emitted when a massive body is accelerated. Emitted when a massive body is accelerated. A wave propagated on a liquid surface or in a fluid through the effects of gravity. Yeah, think of outer space like water or Earth's atmosphere like water. No, wait, don't. In fluid dynamics, gravity waves are waves generated in a fluid medium or at the interface between two media when the force of gravity or buoyancy tries to restore equilibrium. An example of such an interface is that between the atmosphere and the ocean, which gives rise to wind waves. Morning glory cloud. Atmospheric gravity waves as seen from space. C equals squared GK over whatever. Okay. Okay. Big Bang Backlash. Bicep 2. Discovery of gravity waves questioned by cosmologist. Yeah, this is that whole thing, like Big Bang, no Big Bang. The beginning of everything. Inflation was created in 1980. That's ironic. In March, scientists from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for the Astrophysics announced that their discovery of gravitational waves created at the dawn of the universe. These waves were created in a period of rapid expansion called cosmic inflation. This new evidence could prove the definitive confirmation of the inflationary theory. But other researchers are not convinced. What is astronomical phenomena? Aggregates of matter in outer space, such as stars, planets, comets, etc., and the properties and processes they undergo. It sounds like bullshit to me. Let's go to Stellarium. Stellarium would never bullshit me. Many stars have stellar companions. Oh, really? That doesn't freaking define it. I mean, it sounds like phenomena normal. Stupid Wikipedia. Stellarium, you let me down. But oh, now, let's take the astronomical away from it. Let's see what happens. To show, shine, appear, or to be manifest. Phenomena are often, but not always, understood as appearances or experiences. The chick is gravity waving. So I looked up, I Google image gravity waves. Can we get clouds? Can we get space? Can we get clouds in space? In turtle? Yeah, those are crazy. Einstein's theory of binary star system. Let's check it out. In his theory of general relativity, Einstein argued that the motion of an object would cause ripples to emanate through the curvature of space-time. These fluctuations are known as gravitational waves, shown here radiating from a binary star system. Two ultra-dense neutron stars that are spiraling closer and closer to each other. Gravitational waves. The technology now exists to measure gravitational waves and the results are expected to prove that Einstein's theory is correct. Okay. Anyone say neutron star, dude, people get pissed off. Hey, hunting gravitational waves using pulsars. Pulsars are like neutron stars, but different. Gravitational waves. Gravitational waves. Gravitational waves from supermassive black hole mergers and distant galaxies subtly shift the position of Earth. Right, let's go over to sprites. Oh yeah, that's a lot less creepier. Wonderful astronomical phenomenon. Totally a lot less creepier. So there you go. There you go. Oh, that looks super non-creepy. Your everyday run-of-the-mill weird sentinel looking. I'm talking about astronomical phenomena. Gravity waves are fascinating. Sprites are fascinating. But when you get gravity waves... And sprites? That is super duper, duper, holy crap, what?